you go after these things, you're going to exclude God from your life. He's over and over and over. Do not store up treasures on earth. Here he says, uh, watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in the abundance of possessions. It's very difficult for people to get past this. Very difficult. This is one of Jesus' most difficult teachings. Blessed are the poor is Jesus' way of looking at it. Blessed are the poor. Woe to the rich. That is Jesus' way of looking at it. It's not the world's way of looking at it, and it's, for the most part, it's none of our way of looking at it. It's very, very difficult, especially in a society where hard work, hard work and, and uh, uh, getting financially secure are the center. It's very difficult. And this man is, is uh, he's, 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 he's going to, he's going to have resentments and hatred for his brother over this inheritance. He's so wrapped up in the, in money and accumulation, accumulation, accumulation that he has forgotten what life is about. And Jesus is trying to set him back on the right track. Now we don't have to be what, you know, a wealthy man has evidence of his greed all around him. Has evidence of his doing wrong all around him, but he doesn't see it. So do we who are poor have evidence of our own greed all around us. If we if we're so afraid of not having something that we steal it, that's evidence of greed. If, if we think that money will solve our life's problems, we're still on the wrong track. If we think that rising in the estimation of the world is going to be to our benefit, we're still not thinking right. We're not thinking like Jesus. We've got to take on the mind of Christ. And the mind of Christ is that if you're poor, you're blessed. If you're rich, you're headed for trouble. Okay? And so we've got to take on that mindset and get past our animal nature once again. Yes, James? Um, I, I like how you say take on the mind of Yahshua, Jesus. Himself, um, I was thinking that if, if we took on the mind of Yahshua, um, when when he said in Matthew, he was saying that. Why did he say that? Don't go preach to the Samaritans, and don't preach to the Gentiles, but preach to the lost tribe of my children. Why did he say that? Huh? Um, Jesus said, "You say put on the mind no, of Jesus." When he sent, when he sent the, the apostles out. Yeah. To heal and, and get rid of demons. And he say, don't preach to the Gentiles. Don't preach to the Samaritans, but preach to my lost tribe. Preach only to the Jews. Okay. The lost tribe. They was lost. They don't know who, they, they, they don't even know who they are. So is we making a a mistake and not obeying a commandment by preaching to everyone else and say these lost tribes? Later on, at the end of Matthew, mm -hmm. Jesus tells us to go out and preach to all nations. Yeah, but first he never woke up the lost tribe. Uh, okay, and I, I just, I just am, am, am sure that Jesus wants me to talk to everyone, to everyone, <coughs> not. Not this individual, that depending on what their ancestry oh. is or anything else. So, so, so the saints, so the, so, so, the, so, the, so the saints of Moses, the ones that had the blood covenant, these is the saints of the world. These are the people that are supposed to preach to the world. That's why he's going to wake these people up because right now we have Gentiles and 
and, and Samaritans and false preachers and false teachers preaching the word, and they're, they're, they're not preaching the stuff that God is really showing me. Mm -hmm. And it's been a long time that false preachers and false teachers have been preaching, and the world is in chaos right now because of this. Right, and people have been following yeah. false prophets. Yeah, and people teachers. They've been following false prophets, and there will be consequences. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. It comes in, uh, in language, the Bible will have to be believed in respect to, like I say, in the old school of Israel. But it's supposed to spread all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, who's stuck here? Now, Those supposed to preachers are supposed to be preaching. Be preaching. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. But but but. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the saints. You're right. You're right. The saints is the preachers of the world, though. They don't wake up. Who's going to be preaching? Exactly. Exactly. Okay, the ones that had the ones that had made the blood covenant with Moses, God made them the saints of the world. So without waking them up, who's preaching? All right. All right. To the world. We're going to close up now. Circle up and close up. And everybody try to remember there is a God and he is active today. Yes, he is. Grab a hand.